What's going on, Foundry Groups? Welcome to Groups today. I know I'm a little puffy here on the right side, but it's all good. Don't worry. I wasn't in a bar fight or anything. Uh, if you watch the teaching, you know that Justin hit me with a guitar. It was unprovoked, and we're dealing with it. That's not true. All right. So um, we're, we talked about the Holy Spirit and um, and this new series we're in. It's a short series. It's going to be about four weeks. And we're really leaning into this idea and this understanding of what the early church did in their life together. But everything was fueled, motivated, and driven by the presence, the power, and the direction of the Holy Spirit and people being obedient to it. So as you live into this today, I invite you to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. Invite the Spirit to fill you and work in you, through you, for the glory of Jesus Christ. Let's dive in to our um, questions here. What's going on, Foundry Kids? I hope you're having a great day and a great time at your groups. Here's your questions. After Jesus rose from the dead, he appeared to the disciples and his followers many times. After 40 days, Jesus ascended into heaven with all his friends watching. He told them to wait in Jerusalem for the helper to come. Do you know who God would send to help them? Have you ever heard somebody speak in a language you didn't understand? Question number three. Did you know after Peter told people about Jesus on the day of Pentecost, 3,000 people asked Jesus into their hearts? The disciples suddenly had to find a way to help people learn more about Jesus and the gospel message and how to take care of one another. What are four things you would do to help people learn about Jesus and take care of one another? All right, kids, have a great week. Have a good time with your friends at their house. If you make a mess, you should probably help them clean it up. Isn't it the worst when your friends leave and your mom looks at you and she's like, all right, clean it up, and you're like, boo, because it's so fun when you're making the mess. But either way, have a great day. Have fun together, and uh, thank you for taking time and answering these questions. We'll see you guys soon. Question number one, Uh, put yourself in the place of the disciples before the Holy Spirit came. What would you have been feeling, thinking, or fearing before the coming of the Holy Spirit? Question two, Peter goes from being this foot-in-mouth fisherman To a man who preached to thousands after being filled with the Holy Spirit, do we see lives transformed like that in our sphere? There was no church before Pentecost. The disciples would have been familiar with, as Jews, familiar with a system of temple worship in that form. Suddenly, they had the disciples, 3,000 new believers. What kinds of challenges do you think that brought about? Question number four. Do me a favor. Read Acts 2, uh, 42 to 47 and answer this. What did the church concentrate on?
Well, groups, thank you for joining us today uh, in groups. I hope these, these questions and what's going on in the early church resonates with what you're talking about and how you're bonding together. I'm so excited for what God's doing in our church through our groups and really reaching the community around us and displaying the gospel. Thank you for being invested and in doing life together. I know it's vulnerable. I know it's hard at times, but it is the best part of who we are as Christians, bound together and, and doing life uh, up close and personal in the word of God being a central part of it. Have a great week. Grace and peace to you as you go about this. And hopefully it's warm this week. I'm tired of winter. We could probably pray about winter not coming back. But anyways, that's a different story. Have a great week.